Hello and welcome to We Grow Wild. Today's video is about wild plants and handmade garments. So we have a beautiful combo right there. It's two of my favorite things. A month ago I shared a video about my summer knits. Some of you asked me if I could show how I style my knit, my summer knits and I thought I could do it but then I was like it's a little uninteresting like I don't know maybe it is but I wanted to do something that was a little bit more interesting for me to record as well and the other day we were taking a walk and I thought plants are the best designers and have the best style in the world I think <laughs> so let's get inspired by them so we're gonna create outfits inspired by some by wildflowers summer wildflowers so i picked six plants that are very common throughout europe some parts of asia north america and other parts of the world they are common you can find them uh, in the warmer seasons so we're gonna try to get inspired by the beautiful color combinations and texture of these plants for each outfit i'll use one hand knitted garment or two depending on the on the plant and then i got contacted by a beautiful company vivaya shoes um, they asked me if they could send me two of their pair of shoes and I could try them so I'm gonna include their beautiful shoes in the in some of the outfits they are not paying me for saying anything in particular they just sent me the products and they are a very sustainable and regenerative company I like that they use recycled materials and very sustainable materials such as hemp so we're gonna try their shoes. So let's go into the outfit. Mika is here to help us. So here are all of the clothes and shoes that we're gonna try. So let's start with... I can guess which plants some of these are actually. That's, that's really good. So I'm gonna wear an outfit and Mika is gonna guess what plant is. I'll tell him the six plants I choose so he more or less yeah. knows how which plant we are talking about and uh, Let's just go. If this would be a plant. We got six plants and uh, actually I know that only two of those plants have white influences. And I believe that we can uh, limit our selection to uh, yarrow or elder flower. So out of uh, all the plants that this could be, I feel that this, because this outfit has some kind of healing anti-blood coagulational patterns with it that it could be related to yarrow <laughs> also this is seems very to be good uh, yeah and this i think this is the pattern that resembles yarrow the most I see. look at this beauty so this like look a little like knitted honeycombs and the Yarrow doesn't have honeycombs, but it has these like super little, tiny, beautiful white flowers. And I don't know, the color and the texture looks very similar. Do you also this? No? Yeah, look also, yeah, also my, <laughs> actually they look very similar. The bra that I have underneath and these shoes. That's so interesting. So. So it's yarrow. Nice. One out of one. Good what job. Good um, job. Let's see for the next ones. This was kind of easy. 
he was. But it's the first plant, so it's really Yeah, good. and uh, like we have some green, I guess it's the stalk. <gasps> Remember to eat your yarrow raw because it has more <laughs> nutrients. It's true, it's really it's nice. Really true. It's really good for the blood circulation. Really? Yeah. Yarrow is probably my favorite okay, ally. But some quick tips how to use yarrow, eating, drinking. So I would I would take the leaves and uh, like kind of peel out this little stem that is in between the little leaves and just add them on your salad. Delicious. Yarrow is an amazing ally. It's a beautiful plant. So this was the first outfit and the pants, these pants I didn't thrift them like the other garments that you will see they are from the brand linen fox which is an amazing brand women owned you can find them on etsy and probably they also have a website and they do made to order garments love love these pants these are the color olive green and they fit really nice with these shoes very nice so on to the next plant <laughs> Plant number two. Looking good. Showing off some red colors on the top side. On the lower end we got some darker features. Fancy shoes with high heels. We see also... Oh, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Looking good. So, from the plants that we know, there is uh, two that have influences of red, but only one red and black. So, uh, I'm gonna say that this will be the puppy. That has the red flowers and the black seeds and uh, with the ruffle also. I chose this uh, top to pair with this uh, black jeans and the Vivaya heels. Uh, I'll put the link of the links of the two shoes I got in the description box if you're interested. But I chose this top because it resembles. It's not only because of the color, which is this kind of deep, beautiful blood red, but it's also it has this beautiful ruffles. It's called the Flutterbutt shirt by Jessie May Design and I knitted it a few months ago as well and I chose it because it resembles this really like flowy and roughly aspect of the poppy and uh, I think it's beautiful. Let me. And then we will have... Look, who can taste it? Oh. Go. <laughs> he wants to stay with me. I also have these uh, nice sunglasses just to have the aura of like, don't talk to me. <laughs> but uh, it's nice. So, what do you think? I like it a lot. It's very rock and roll. Hmm. You pop in the puppy. <laughs> oh. The shoes. <laughs> Can we see the shoes? Stop. So these are the beautiful shoes. Of course, this type of um, environment here is not so proper for this type of shoes, but we like this. They fancy and they are super, super comfortable. Usually I don't wear heels so much, even if I'm pretty short, I maybe sometimes could, but because they are mostly very uncomfortable, but these ones I could just have them on all day and not feel any pain because the heel is really round and stable and they are really designed to be very comfortable on our feet not only cute so very happy with this outfit on to the next plant outfit we go Splendid outfit coming out here. It's a netted uh, sweater, net knitting, with holes, and then 
uh, ripple bralette top that I'm <laughs> very <laughs> knowing well. And then we have uh, linen uh, shorts, green, and uh, sandals. Let's go to the guessing point. And uh, what we have left to guess from is uh, mugwort, elderflower, and St. John's wort. And because I see that uh, there is like white holiness with a trunk of uh, wood and green leaf pants, it could be elderflower. So it has to be mugwort or St. John's wort. It could not be St. John's wort. So then it has to be mugwort. Yeah. Okay, so I chose this outfit. Mika didn't get it in the beginning because this looks a little white, but it's more, sil more silver than white. You can come. I mean, it's not an easy guess. But I chose this kind of um, silver color with the green because the magwort uh, leaves have this kind of like silvery uh, surface on the back of the leaf whereas on the front it's kind of like a darker green like these pants yeah. and then uh, the stem is brown it's really good like uh, magwort is a difficult plant to dress like it's true i think but it's a beautiful guess. plant <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's very long and dark. Kind of. And it has beautiful property. It's um, a really amazing plant for the female reproductive system. You can check, you can look into that. It's a very beautiful plant. It's actually behind there. Oh, let me get one. So this is the magwort plant. Oh, the silver. And you can is see, exactly, you can see the back of the leaves. It's kind of like silvery. And, and the, the kind of the stem is like almost brownish, so... It's basically the same. Right? <laughs> 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 All right, on to the next plant we go! <laughs> Outfit number four. We got ourselves a dress with an intense pattern, although it's quite also subtle. And uh, we got the top in white, looking very soft and cozy. And then if we look downward, we find shoes made of hemp, as we already saw them before. Very fancy shoes. It's similar to the first outfit in some way. And uh, there's only one guess to make. The other white plant, it's elderflower. And it's so good, it's so tasty, you can drink it, you can make ice creams. We love elderflower. And uh, what more can I say? The pattern on the top looks a little bit elderflowerish. It's like puffy and cozy. The pattern on the dress, the skirt. on the skirt, it has small elderflowers almost on it. You look really close. And uh, the shoes are also looking like elderflowers. I mean, this is just a huge elderflower outfit for sure. Okay, so Mika guess it right. This is the elderflower inspired outfit with the shoes. Love the shoes with this outfit. So tell us. So I chose the Brise Top by Pia Trans very wonderful designer. This is a beautiful, like very elegant pattern. I think that this outfit could be easily worn in a wedding, right, setting. Yeah. And especially with these really beautiful shoes. I really like it. Um, I chose this um, skirt that I found secondhand because it has this kind of, as Mika mentioned, little, flowery kind of pattern. You can tug in the little top if you want, mm -hmm. in case, or you can just wear it out like this. I like it out for some reason. Me 
So elderflower is an amazing plant. We, I posted a video of where I made elderflower cordial. If you want to check it, amazing plant. We have a bonus outfit for this tree because elder is a tree and it doesn't have only flowers, it has berries, fruits. So we're gonna have bonus outfit for it and it's gonna be here in three, two, one. I chose the Look at My Holes by James and Watts in this fun color and this linen, um, linen uh, overall. It looks tasty. And I paired everything with these beautiful shoes, the Vivaya shoes. It looks playful and uh, like candy based, but we like it. And I'm gonna show you quickly uh, like why I paired these two colors together. Okay, we're here with the elder tree because it's next to our house. As you can see, the, the berries are black and the stem and the kind of little stem that hold the berry um, are pinkish like my outfit <laughs> so nailed it <laughs> this is actually really nice so this was the elderberry bonus outfit so we had the elder flower outfit and the elderberry outfit which is this one and now we go on to the last outfit then there will be another outfit but we'll talk about it later Outfit number five. Welcome to the stage. Um, uh, I mean, we kind of know which plant it is because there's only one more to choose. Yeah. But I would have guessed it, even if it was the first one, because it's on point. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it has yellow influences. Oh, that's because. And of... it turns into a darker yellow slash reddish once. You do like this in your hand. Bravo! And it's you called oh, St. John's Wort. You remember it's that? It's a very healing plant. So I got it. You got it. I mean, it's four. No, then I got four out of five because yeah. I failed on elder flower. <laughs> on mugwort. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but so this this so is the beautiful. outfit I chose. Honestly, I was a little surprised that I didn't have yellow knitted garments because yellow is one of my favorite colors. But I had this <laughs> linen thrifted linen skirt with this fun pattern. So it could resemble a little like St. John's wort. Um, I would wear this top with green pants usually. So it could also be with green pants um, but this is a top I designed so it doesn't have a design name designer name I guess. St. John's wort is an amazing plant um, it has anti-depressive properties many beautiful properties I have a video I can link it in the description box on how to make an Ipericum perforatum which is the St. John's wort um, scientific name uh, so it's uh, St. John's Wort oil. I link the video in the description box. Okay, it's a few days after the last clips. We are in a beautiful, beautiful place. As you can see, the background is different. And uh, we're gonna have the last plant-inspired outfit. Uh, the plant I got inspired for this outfit was common chicory. So common chicory is a, a beautiful plant that you can find everywhere in like warm areas and it's, it's growing in the wild, but it's absolutely edible. It has beautiful properties and you can use many parts of the plant. You can use the flowers for salad, the leaves, you can saute and have them as a spinach substitute, for example. And then you can use also the roots for like a coffee-like healthy option beverage. So the outfit that I decided to pick for this beautiful plant, um, it's an exciting one. So let's see, I'm wearing it. Okay. 
here we have it so I picked this beautiful like pattern which is the ranunculus pattern and uh, this color because of the the roots um, that you use chicory roots which are this beautiful kind of like light uh, silvery brown I would say and of course I paired them with these beautiful pants which I think fits perfectly with this plant which is uh, chicory and I pair them also with the Vivaya shoes that we saw previously. Uh, in this outfit, the piece that is the most interesting are these beautiful bottoms, these beautiful pants made by an amazing designer who ideates, designs and creates uh, all of the pieces uh, that they present in their website and it's a single woman owned company and so the pants are from Yelt which is a Copenhagen based company the surprise is that we have the designer right now here <laughs> <laughs> so Clara she's wearing also one of her pieces uh, this you don't sell this right no, no. this was um, a summer shirt I wanted to do for myself um, out of my leftover fabrics that I've been cutting for these blue pants. So I want to minimize waste and use everything at my disposal, always. Because that's also part of your brand, like that's a big... Yeah, that's big like thing. the whole foundation for my company. So everything I work with is discarded and leftover materials. Her pieces are very timeless, I would say, like and you can pair them with very different type of garments. Yes. Like you can pair them with knitwear, like really casual, crazy yeah. tops like this one. Or you can have something very elevated, right? Like yes. very fancy. More elegant. More elegant. Mm -hmm. So these pants that Martina is wearing right now is made from Italian <laughs> leftover cotton. It's actually um, a partner collaboration I have with companies. Um, so I have this Italian textile producer that I work with. I also work with laundry places where I take um, untraditional materials like bed sheets, duvet covers, um, laundry bags, all types of stuff and upcycle them. But this is uh, amazing cotton, long stem cotton from Italy. Yeah, so I, I, I do all my designing myself and then I do all my pattern construction and everything from scratch. and make always products and styles that can be used for many years both in the design uh, method but also in the construction method so that this is very durable clothing to wear um, and it's timeless as well that's super important so yeah I make a lot of shirts and I also make a lot of pants and coats and jackets and it's very important that this is items that people are sentimental about and want to use for a long time and take care of as well so they are also quite easy i would say to mend if you have to after five years if you lose a button or something else you can actually fix them quite easy she's a friend yeah. uh, and we were like i was like maybe i can just include you in one of these random videos so grateful. and uh, because i think is i mean we strive for like regenerative designs and sustainability and she's like all <laughs> boxes are ticked exactly <laughs> she, she's based in Copenhagen you live in Copenhagen yes. and your company is like you are basically the I'm everything you, she's the everything so she's a one-man company yeah. one woman sorry yeah. company yeah and uh, so it's it's really amazing to support mm. um, I don't want to push like people and you no. buy this or that but like it's amazing to support small businesses especially yeah. women owned businesses yeah and uh, Clarice and to know that we exist like exactly. that's a great we need exactly. to help elevate each other so i'm super grateful just for doing this video with you today you have your website yes she has her website she has instagram if i yeah. put maybe the information on the screen if you want to yeah. check her out if you want to check her website and buy something yourself do you ship worldwide because we i have on my website I ship for Europe, but I can. I have been shipping products to the States. Then you just simply 
sent me uh, like text me send me an email and then I have a procedure for how to do that exactly. and um, you can find my um, my email on on the website of course or I link things you can link it yeah. there is also of course Instagram and there is literally only me in my company so you will get straight through to customer yeah, support it's, it's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite convenient and easy in that way and yeah. I'm always reachable I would say yeah so if you want to give something yourself for yourself or people that you love or yeah. recommend like you know women own mm. what solo business check her all body types are yeah, welcome. welcomed and included Absolutely. and even if you just have questions or like are wondering about something just hit me up let's this is probably enjoy our vacation yes <laughs> we're gonna enjoy our few days yeah together. In Yes, yeah. and um, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'll put the outro that we filmed a uh, few days before with me. Thank so you good. so much. Thank you for having me, my friend. Bye. Thank you so much for being with us today and watching the outfits what and cheer. the plants and hanging out with us on this cool, breezy evening day here in the central Italy. Yeah, and check Vivaya's shoes. They were really kind to send me these two pair of shoes. I'll leave all of the links in the description box and if you want, you will have 15% off and that's really kind. So thank you Vivaya for sending me these beautiful shoes. And thank you, Mika, for being with us today. It, it was, was my pleasure. It was super fun. <laughs> I like commenting on uh, plant outfits. Yeah. It's what What was your favorite outfit? Uh, let me think. Uh, this one. No, it's too easy. <laughs> I like it. No, wait. The puppy. You like the puppy out? Yeah, it's like rock and roll. We drink some alcohol. No. Let us know if you would like more of these type of videos, which are a little wild. But I loved to ideate and create this video. Yeah. So I thank was you so there much. Also, through the ideation process, it was really fun for me also. <laughs> but I was really grumpy that day actually. It was. <laughs> But I still had fun inside, but on the outside I was like, so good. <laughs> thank you. So thank you so much for joining us and thank you Vivaya for sending me these beautiful shoes. Check them out. I leave all of the links in the description box. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you, See you next, next time. <laughs>